Let me first uh, thank the organizing committee for giving me the opportunity to be here today to share with you my experience. I have to say that when uh, Daniel Wiesmeyer gave me this very challenging title, Life Lifelong Maintenance of Dental Implants, I was a little hesitant. But then I accepted. Since we are ATI, I accepted because I thought that um, my duty is here to share with you the direction we have to take in order to get this type of results. Knowing that, if we take the wrong direction, we may come up with results like this. And these results, you see these results in your countries, in Japan, in Asia, in uh, South America, these are very, very, very increasing. And the reasons for that is that people don't remember that osseointegration is easy. All these implants are more or less osseointegrated. Soft tissue integration is difficult, but what's really, really challenging is long-term maintenance. And what do all these things have in common? Well, in many of these cases, it's because the dentist did many things without thinking to the consequences. Take the story of Pedro. Pedro works in Switzerland, but he comes back in Italy for the weekend. So he had a trauma, went to the dentist on a Thursday. The dentist placed the implant immediately because he read that immediate placement is safe, a predictable procedure. Something went wrong. Then the dentist did the bone graft. Something went wrong. He did a connective tissue graft, 